Hey, welcome to a new game here in the channel. This is Tori 3D by a single indie developer called Siaktro. This game was written in 2021 and kind of signaling the start of me just wanting to try more stuff on the channel, wanting to play more games. Um, this is, as you can probably tell, a love letter to a lot of N64 90s platformers. Which, honestly, I have fond memories of, but didn't actually play that many myself. So I'm kind of excited to see what someone's modern interpretation of that era is like. And I don't know, I think it's really cool. There seems to be a ton of these kind of games on the market. This is the first in this series. There's a Tori 2 as well. Um, also, if you're looking for a new game, this game is unfathomably cheap right now on Steam. Uh, I bought this game for 99 cents USD. So... Uh, it's described as a platformer with some weird elements, so kind of excited to see what that's like. Uh, apparently it's really short, so I have no idea how many videos we'll end up making, but it should be fun. And if I like it, I'm probably going to slam the second one. Select a character. Well, I only have Tori. I have no special features, so I guess I'll select Tori. Oh my god, these polygons are awesome. <laughs> okay, we have eight levels and... Uh, some sort of final level it looks like, so let's see how long they are. What is going on? Just checking. So... Do I have any other buttons but jump? Nope. Oh my god, that hurt. It just one-shot me, man. So, for anyone wondering... Oh my god, this level. I am... You can double jump. Yes, thank you. I did figure that out by hitting buttons, but... Oh! <laughs> Apparently, wasn't enough. Hold X or shift to run. Ah. That is not the best button for that, I will say. So I'm playing on controller, but I might actually end up switching to... I might end up switching to keyboard. One sec. I figured, you know, it's a retro platformer. We should play on controller, but... Oh wait, what are the camera controls on controller? Oh, it's Wazda? Let's jump. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna be a lot easier. Wait, what are the camera controls on keyboard there? Wait, seriously, what are the camera controls? I don't know. This? No? This is fun. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. Wait a second. There has to be a button. Oh no. I made it all small. How do I make it unsmall? Oh, it's mouse. That's. Oh, okay, hang on. So, I'm gonna explain something uh, in a second. Okay. We're back, I think. All right. That's not so bad. So, you may have noticed as you're going through the options menu. Wow. I got absolutely smoked. Uh, you may have noticed from me going through the option menu that typically I am a... Is this a different level? No, it's the same level. I thought for a second there was some perceived regeneration and I was very confused. All right. Definitely keyboard seems like the vibe. Oh, that B is about to get me. So I'm a camera X inverted enjoyer, typically. Uh, at least for games where it's dual stick and you're playing with a controller. And the reason is, I grew up playing an unbelievable amount. This B is gonna be the death of me. Actually, it has been many times. Uh, so right now it seems like you can't interact with the enemies. It's okay. I'm okay with that. I'll avoid them. Um, but I grew up playing a ton of Kingdom Hearts 1. And inexplicably in that game... Oh, we have checkpoints. Bless up. Uh, inexplicably in that game, uh, the default option is camera... Uh, the x-axis is inverted on the camera, and you cannot change it. And I have no idea why they did this. But they did. Oh my god, the little sound. 
I you can't turn down sound effects, by the way. It's just one music, it's one volume slider, but it's only for music. Anyway, um, <laughs> this giant star thing is like kind of terrifying. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there's bees. Oh! Watch that somehow. I don't know how. Anyway, uh, for some reason that game is inexplicably x-axis inverted. Permanently, you cannot change the controls. And I have no idea why. But I played so much of that game that I got used to doing it. So when I'm playing on controller with, like, right stick as camera, I really don't want to die, by the way, because the last checkpoint is very far away. Uh, so when I'm playing on controller, I always have x-axis inverted. Which is what I had before when I was playing controller, but now I'm playing on keyboard. Which I can explain why, actually. Okay. The reason I was playing on... The reason I'm playing on keyboard now is that for some reason, the run button and... The run button and... The jump button are really close together and they're also not rebindable. <laughs> So it feels much comfier doing this, even though it feels quite a bit better. This star is terrifying me. All right. Uh, even though it feels way better playing uh, using camera on controller. All right, I got a C, which isn't the best thing ever, but that's okay. Like I said, I have no idea how long this game is. There's a non-zero chance if it's super short, we'll finish it in one video, but it'll probably be like two or three. And so many times I die. So I assume one of the scores is for speed. Oh, that's not it. That's the cycle. This music bops, by the way. Last level was a little, little meh. I'm very, so curious what the speed tech in this game is. Because I feel like I should be able to go faster. Oh, I think you get a jump back every time. You enter one of those things. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, what happened? Uh, that, was, that went crazy. I don't want to... I realized too late. That's actually a fun bit of level design. Because I think it's telling you that... Hey, this is what's going to happen when you... What's going on? The number of jumps you get... It's not random, it's just like... Okay, so... Like I was saying, there's a fun bit of level design there where they are actually telling you that you're gonna get blown off before you would reasonably get blown off, if that makes sense. Like, it's not that unreasonable to expect. Oh my god, you get a jump every time you get a gust of wind! Alright, okay, looks like we almost found a skip, by the way. <laughs> No, that wasn't it. If the goal is to die swiftly as many times as possible. Can I get down there? I kinda wanna try. It looks like you can, right? I feel like you can. I guess. If I had one more jump, or if I got a bit further. Maybe I'm, I'm supposed to go there and I'm just, I need to get further anyway. So close. Also, I'm actually not trying to do that. Uh, I just happen to be looking like I do because I'm getting blown off every time anyway. <laughs> So, all right, so that's your regular jump. If you hold jump in the wind tunnel, you like do a little float. No, Oof. thought I figured it out. I'm trying to figure out how to, as you can tell, trying to figure out how to navigate these wind tunnels. Man. Because you do get your jump back. Like, you can hold jump here. 
and you'll fly up a bit. Man, I don't... You don't jump that far. Um, sorry, I was testing, like, how far you jump. Did I just jump into it? Maybe. Based? Oh! Alright, do I want to try and go down there? I'll just go this way, I guess. I'll go the way that I'm supposed to go. Oh, maybe not? Alright, where am I? Wait, actually, where am I? Uh, I have no idea. I think I go this way? Alright, we definitely found uh, unintentional, but not... Oh, I haven't been running. That might have made a big difference. I forgot I, I forgot to run through the the platforms that were blowing me. That actually would have made a huge difference. Whoops. Wait, have I already hit this checkpoint? Oh no. Alright, nice skip. I'm flying. Oh my god, these bees. Alright. No shot. Alright, at least I'm actually back closer to where I need to be. I just went straight through the tentacle texture, if anyone noticed. No. Nice. Nice. Alright. Fly, little bird. Oh, that's the end! No! Okay, phew. <laughs> we might be able to do half the levels today at the rate we're currently playing. Oh my god, I have little emos on. Incredible. I will say, like, I mean, this is very charming and very fun. One of the complaints was definitely the controls felt a bit wonky, and I definitely kind of agree. I think any game where you can't rebind the controls will often draw that complaint, because people have preferences. Oh my goodness. But... I don't remember this is my messenger playthrough. I don't know exactly how I feel about ice physics. I don't know what collecting all the stars does, but I don't have time for that. Oh, maybe I should have time for it. The world is definitely a vibe. Like, I'm very happy this art style is coming back because it is very charming. This does... I mean, it's interesting because, like... So I think about a game like A Hat in Time, which is a wonderful game. That game obviously took inspiration from... Many of the games this game is presumably taking its inspiration from. But it looked like a more modern game. Oh, no! This game looks like... You know, it's 20, 30 years old. And I don't know, the look is nice. It's cool. No! Okay, there's, there's some sick shortcuts there for sure. Well, I don't know about sick. There's like a minor shortcut. I'm trying to build up some more speed. Definitely haven't noticed anything like too wild with the physics engine. Like, it just feels generally pretty straightforward. But I'm sure there's some fun ways to get a lot of speed. Maybe in the second game, that was more of a consideration. I'm kind of just vibing right now. But honestly, I need a game that's a good vibe. This game's definitely a good vibe. Oh, what was that? Oh, this is half the length of the other levels. You know what that was? That was one of the slides in Super Mario 64 uh, as just a whole level. Like an extended version of the slide, but that was just the slide from Mario. 
Oh boy. It's subway surface. <laughs> I mean, this reminds me of Sky Roads, and I love that game, so I'm here for this. Also, the ice physics are gone. Bless up. Oh my goodness. I clutched it. Uh, they're definitely moving. Okay, so we have cycles. I'm so curious what... <sighs> Crap. <laughs> I'm so curious what... Oh, there are ice physics still. Unlucky. There are freezer trucks. I'm so curious what really fast times in this game look like. Mainly because I'm curious what the movement is like. Because that seems to be... I mean, the jump feels good. So yeah, the jump feels good. Just the... Your momentum is just, like, very odd. This level's really fun. Oh! Wow. Missed a cycle, I guess? I have to wait for this cycle. Wait for this cycle. Goodness. It takes forever. Oh. Use my double jump accidentally. I feel like this would be a good game to give to new melee players. Be like, hey, don't use a double jump. Actually, this game would kind of go hard on GameCube controller. Not gonna lie. Oh. My pinky is getting a little sore. That's what I'm using to currently use the shift button. Hopefully the camera sense isn't too uh, frustrating. I think it's good. From what I can tell, it seems appropriately slow. I will say, as much as I love this level, and I do, it's really hard to tell what rate the cars are moving. So I don't really know which... Like, it's hard to tell how close I am to an object, and therefore, like, when it's coming and I can jump on it. Like, that looked very close. That just started to move away from me. And it's just kind of hard to tell, like, what direction the cars are moving. Also, it doesn't feel cycle-based, but it must be cycle-based. Like, it almost feels, like, manipulatable. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like when I move back and forth to get closer, but that might just be... Okay, that I noticed, at least. Okay, that one's actually kind of quick. I'm sure if you play this game more, you, like, get used to this stuff. Alright. Uh... That jump feels frustrating. Oh, man. The movement. Wait. Tori can schmooze. Look at this. Yeah, the, the controls feel like they're weird, but they're pretty tight. I mean, it's only run, jump, and run, jump, double jump, walk. I don't know. I'm really genuinely curious to see what the, like what this genre of games is like. The idea of a bunch of different developers making, oh my goodness, making nostalgic platformers is really cool. I am concerned for my well-being. Okay. Oh, there's a checkpoint, please. I just have to make it to the checkpoint. Ugh. All right, we did it. Ooh, speedy cars. See, now I'm getting the Skyroid vibes. Risky, oh, risked it all. It was worth. Whoa, it's a treadmill. I didn't even realize what it was until just then. All right, what the? That is terrifying. If there's something behind me, I'm gonna lose it. But I didn't move my camera around in time. Okay, um, I don't know, maybe we'll one shot the game. I didn't expect it to be long. That noise is not it for me. 
Ugh. That's terrifying. Why is it getting freaky? Wait, did I already play this level? I think I already played this level. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Wait. I'm going to turn this down slightly. Because genuinely... Hey, I think it might be too loud. But genuinely, it's freaking me out. <laughs> and I get scared easily. Okay, I guess these are the weird elements. Which, you know, I was warned about. This is very similar to the other level. Okay. Like, too similar, I would say. Although, you can play them in any order, so... I wonder... Does this level glitch out only after X levels? Is this level always glitched out? Are we sure this is a different level? I think it is. It's very terrifying. I didn't like the weird star thing to begin with. I really don't like it now. That's genuinely gonna hold my dreams. Okay, this is a different level for sure. Where do I go? The music was fun and whimsical. Now the. I mean, it still is actually, but. Those things are creepy. Hang on. Is that. No, that's a different checkpoint, right? I'm pretty sure that's different. It is a little hard to tell where you're going. <laughs> See this obviously, but uh, for your information, <laughs> I actually uh, moved one of my headphones <laughs> so I can take in less of the creepy star glitching noise because <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's so creepy. <laughs> like, they were pretty creepy before. Obviously, now they're actually creepy, but... All the disembodied smiling stars seemed a little too happy, and I guess I was right. They weren't too happy. I seem to have been corrupted, but I guess we'll find out. But... <laughs> I might legitimately have to play with that <laughs> die. I want to experience that again. <laughs> All right, sick. Hmm. Do I take a break? Maybe? Oh, are they like... Oh, I think they're like... Not reskins, but they're like... They're set in the same place, which makes sense. And then, yeah, whatever that thing at the end there is the thing we have to do at the end. I'm gonna keep playing. Okay, so I wasn't insane. They're like, not reskins of the same level, because the levels are different, but like, same setting. I don't know what to call that. But definitely using some of the same elements, so they're gonna feel and look similar. I didn't hang a bit there. 
Oh no. I'm curious if the second game is also creepy. Oh! It just popped out of there. Way. Oh my god, the bees. The Nicolas Cage movie. Okay. Oh goodness. Nice. I think walking there actually helped. Oh my god, fighter jets. Kinda of pog, honestly. I do appreciate these levels a bit more. Because I think the... The movement's a little more zippy, which is nice. Okay. Having to jump on the goal is interesting. It's definitely a choice that was made. Okay, I guess we're gonna try one shot this game. I knew it was short, I didn't know if it'd be this short, but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm not here for a creepy star man, but you know, whatever. Oh my God. <sighs> All right. I got legitimately jump scared. Uh, okay, well that was fun. I am going to play without headphones for the rest of this run. <laughs> no. I wonder if the levels are still have those elements in them. Uh, if you haven't beaten one of the other levels, because again, you can do them in any order. And I did them in the natural order, but I have to think that like... I have to think that they don't want those elements like, in the game early on because it's kind of like, you know, they want to like lull you into a false sense of security and I'm scared you. <laughs> Thanks game. Successfully done by the way. <laughs> My heart rate has increased significantly. <laughs> I hope that's the only one. I am not good at getting jump scared if that wasn't clear. And before we uh, have to submit, <laughs> did not complete for this video. <laughs> it's fine, we just call it an exploration of indie game Cory. Like I said, it's a dollar. And a lot of the core of the game is really cool. Alright. I assume one of them's gonna chase me at some point, but maybe not. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I gave that way too much credit. But I don't wanna get eaten. Like, if you die, you have to replay the level. Oh, that was kind of pog, actually. Oh, interesting. Jesus, that's so terrifying. No! Ugh. I feel like we're definitely getting the hang of this section, though. Also, what are the stars for, I wonder? I assume they're just for completionists, but uh, maybe you get something? I hope you don't need them to finish the game, but you could. could need like a number of them, at least. I guess I can see where now where the game doesn't want me to turn down the sound effects. It only has a volume slider for the music. Maybe that's so you can get a jump scare. <laughs> that's a kind of one way to do it, I guess. Interesting piece of sound design. We'll call it. I might get eaten. God. Terrifying. Oh boy. Oh man, the ice physics is getting a little crazy on these platforms actually. Oh, maybe we should stop running? Probably help. Alright, let's check point. It's valuable. Wait. Did I already hit them? Whatever. Oh. oh my god. Wait, isn't this where we started? No. Oh my god, I have to run the field of these things. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Once I get over the, like, getting the, sk the shits get out of me. Okay, get me out. Thank god. Whew. Oh my god. That was a very stressful level. <laughs> I hope this isn't stressful. This is totally gonna be a fun car level, right? Oh, yikes. Let's 
This was definitely my favorite of the level styles. Ow. Checkpoint was very easy to reach. I almost wanted a death wall. <laughs> I'm gonna start collecting a few more stars when I feel like I can reasonably get them. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. You don't lose your stars, which is nice. Oh. Oh, that's a lot to get. I think I can just get on the other platform. Well, I guess I know what the weird elements are now. Uh, not it. Not the jump you were looking to make. These treadmills are awesome too. I wish there were a few more um, movements. I was kind of going for it. <laughs> I wish there were a few more movement base. Uh, like movement speed up type thing. Like, appreciate those. I feel like I'm genuinely not going to survive the last level. Like, I don't know what to tell you all. <laughs> I mean. okay. That was a lot to get through. Ooh, big jump. Nice. Uh, this is safe. Oh my goodness. I got so lucky there. I don't think I was supposed to survive there. Just got lucky. Fighting for my life out here, I swear. Kind of appreciate the generous that you pointed this, but... Ooh, this is cool. Okay, I... Might one-shot the game. I'm genuinely terrified of this final level. Music is a slapper, but I think I'm gonna not know that in a second. This music's really sweet. Is there a here? Wish I could see. Like, how do I fight? I don't think I can fight. Uh, this way, I think? It's not really tall. Oh, shit. Oh, it is moving, I think. Where do I go? <laughs> Terrifying. I guess I go there? Really? That's the only thing that resembles a platform I can jump on. No. Not even close. Here, then, I guess? I feel like it goes anywhere. I think I'm supposed to go down there. Where is that where I came from? I thought I came from here. Yeah, I definitely came from... Wait, did I not come from here? I'm so confused. Well, it's definitely not that way, right? Alright, whatever. We'll try this. Yeah, I don't think I came from here. This looks different. I came from a bit... Did I do that, maybe? Ooh. Let's glitch to a texture there. Where am I? Seems a little more open world than the other world, which might be intentional. I went up that thing, but it looked different before, didn't it? Let's take this one, but this is the beginning? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, it looks like a different section. Did it change? Am I losing my mind? Ooh. Mild glitch. Okay.
Just gonna take a personal safety precaution. Enjoy the music, it's a banger, but um, I've decided to forfeit the music for the rest of this section. <laughs> so that was actually pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely some like, uh, not un I don't wanna say unintentional stuff. Uh, here, I think. Stars, yeah. Don't be that wrong. Uh, I don't know if I can get on that thing. I'm gonna say no. Oh, over there, I guess. There's a flag. Um, how do I get there? <laughs> this one oh my god. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's definitely some, like... There's some, um, like, getting up things you don't look like you should be able to get up. Like, you're not glitching into textures necessarily, but, like, there's definitely some level of, like, where am I going? Okay. There's definitely some level of, like, cool texture stuff happening. Honestly, I would play a whole game that was just like this on the road thing. I mean, yeah, I would play, I would play an updated Sky Race, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think that's a, an unusual thing for older generation games. The game is sweet. Honestly, I have been wanting to play some retro games, so I could see playing it. I could see playing it. Goal. Goal. Is that it? I feel like it's not it. Oh. Okay, cool. Cool, that was Tori 3D. Shout out to Marcus Holland, aka Siactro. Um, not shout out for you absolutely murdering me <laughs> with that jump scare, but that was really fun. Um, I thought the last level would have like another section, but it didn't, and that's cool. Um, definitely a space I find interesting. Like, I think really cool to see like the style of RPG. Sorry, the style of platformer uh, kind of come back in some ways. I'm really cool, really excited to see what other developers have done. I know Siectra has another game in a series that I'll probably play, um, as long as it doesn't like completely spook me. <laughs> um, and then I know there's a, another game. It's a little bit bigger, more fleshed out. Um, but this is really cool. Uh, like I said, if you want to play this, definitely recommend it. Um, it's 99 cents if you want to play it yourself. Um, and now you know to avoid the snowball before it jump scares you. So something a bit different, but definitely want to try and explore smaller games, other games, uh, even shorter games like this, where, you know, it's just one video. I think that's kind of cool. And definitely want to explore some retro games as well. I know I was talking about Sky Roads. Maybe I'll play through Sky Roads, but had an idea to play through some of the older games of my childhood that I didn't get to play all the way through. So stay tuned for that and more. Uh, this was Tori3D. Thanks for hanging out.